Hi everyone, I'm so glad you stopped in today. I have a new project for you. I'm going to show you how to create this designer paper gusseted bag insert. As you can see, it's a gusseted bag and I score and insert the designer paper so that you can put a little treat or even a little small gift in there. And I have a coordinating tag. So let me show you what we need for stamping up products today. For stamp sets, I'm using Christmas Magic. I'm using the train image and the small Merry Wishes sentiment. For ink colors, we need Cherry Cobbler. We're also using Cherry Cobbler ribbon, which comes from the Silky Taffeta Rock, uh, ribbon combo pack from the holiday catalog and you get uh, both spools, the Cherry Cobbler and the Emerald Envy. We're using one gold library clip for the top of the tag. We are using the Banner Triple Punch, and look what I've done to make it easy so I know how wide to cut my cardstock. This banner, act, or this punch actually cuts three banners, one that's two inches, one and a half inches and one inch. And I'll show you how that works. We are also using the classic label punch. And the bags that I'm using are the gusseted cellophane four inches by 10 inch bags. And there is 25 in a package of these. These are really handy. And I know it's near Christmas time, so that's why I thought this would be a good project to show you. For cardstock, I need a scrap piece of very vanilla. And then for my banners, I need three pieces. Very vanilla, four inches by two inches. Garden green, five inches by one and a half inches. And cherry cobbler, four and a half inches by one inch. For designer paper, I'm using the same one that I used for my bag, but I'm gonna flip it in the opposite direction. This is from the This Christmas Designer Paper Pack. This piece measures four inches by 12 inches. So if you actually use a full sheet of 12 by 12, you can make three bags with one sheet of designer paper. And we're going to be scoring three times and I'll show you how to do that. And finally, just a small coordinating piece that measures one and a, or half an inch by two inches. And you also need your scoring tool. So let's get started on our project for today. I'm going to be using my score tool, my Simply Scored scoring tool. And for score lines, I'm going to score at one and a half. And designer paper, you should always use the larger ball on the end so it doesn't cut through. So one and a half, four, and 11. And that's all we need for score lines. So now I'm going to score on all three four score lines and use my bone folder. And you'll see how easy this project comes together. If you're someone that does craft fairs, this would be a nice uh, item to have at craft fairs. And they can put whatever they want in the bag. So now I'm going to open up the gusseted bag. And put this through the bag and then open it up this way and because there's nothing inside it's not going to sit flat so what I did on mine just so it, 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 I could show it to you is I added a piece of scotch tape on the bottom so I'm going to do that again this time it'll just make it easier for me to work with so I'm just going to fold this over and add the piece of scotch tape there just to hold it. Okay, so this is how the bag stands up. And then you would fold this piece inside. And this is where your tag, and then you fold the additional um, cello that's left over. And this is where your tag would be clipped to the top. So I'm just going to put the clip on there for now until we work on the tag. 
So you can see that this is the same designer paper, but look how different it looks. Okay, so let's get going on the tag. Now I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment first. And we're going to cut that out with the classic label punch. Okay, so there's the sentiment. Now we're going to cut all three pieces for the tag. So the cherry cobbler is where the one inch mark is and that goes right into this slot right here and you just push it in all the way as you can see it lines up and there's tag number one garden green is your next measurement which is the one and a half again push that all the way punch see how easy that is and the last one is the very vanilla and that one is two inches push that all the way and punch so when you're measuring these tags you have to take into consideration how much gets cut off they're all different because of the size so now let me bring in a piece of scrap so i can do the stamping so here's my scrap paper and again we're going to use the cherry cobbler and the very vanilla piece is what i'm stamping on and we're going to do the train image And it's just a partial image and while my ink is still a little wet I'm going to use the blender pen and just grab the ink lines see how that spreads so I'm just going to add a little bit of color there's a few bows right here I'm going to do the bow on the wreath and I'm just really quickly grabbing the ink lines to do my coloring it just adds a little bit of shading okay and that's all I'm going to do for coloring now we're going to glue our layers together and I'm going to put adhesive on each side I'm going to glue the cherry cobbler first and just leave a little bit sticking out on the side and the same with the garden green it just makes it stand out by leaving a color on each side for the sentiment i'm going to bring in some scissors and i'm going to cut this little skinny piece off my stamping dimensionals it's the perfect width for this um, this punch i can get it off see how that fits perfectly in that little space and then we're just going to add this to the tag and lastly I'm going to bring in the ribbon and just tie a piece around my library clip and you could always make a coordinating card to go with this bag too and we'll just cut those at an angle and then we're ready to clip on the tag to our bag and that's all there is to it very quick and very easy and this would make a nice presentation for a gift i'm so glad you stopped in today if you have any questions leave me a message on my video or contact me by email or on my blog thanks and have a good day and oops, this is take two. I forgot to add my little designer piece that goes at the top of my tag to match the bag. Now it's complete. See you later.